you also need to teach the science to, that, that's interesting to your baby, not just that's helpful to you, you know. So, <laughs> so it's great for you that the baby can show milk and dummy and, and, and thank you and please and all mm-hmm. of that. But they are interested in in animals, you know, and um, the things outside and colors. <laughs> Nadia Brutus is from EinsteinHands.com. Why Einstein Hands? Why did you call it that? Um, well, Einstein is basically a synonym for being clever. And um, hands is basically just how we can use our hands to make our babies clever. Um, so that's basically Einstein hands is clever hands, clever babies. Why did you start the concept initially? I mean, to have a baby do sign language or even a toddler being able to speak with their hands, that is, it's phenomenal. It's something really phenomenal to achieve. Yeah. Why did you start yeah. it initially? Um, well, Elana, I was pregnant with my first baby and I started my Google research on how to raise a smart baby. And, um, you know, the list looked very similar. Um, You have to read to your baby and speak a lot and explain about your surroundings. So so language was fundamental in raising a smart baby. But what got my attention was the signing part. Um, Yeah, And that's where I started my research in how to raise a smart baby using sign language. Now, you are not a sign language interpreter. I know a little bit about you. So I know that there's not any uh, relations or relationships with people who are hard of hearing or who are deaf. But speaking with signs is your passion. Have you had phenomenal results? I mean, what's your mama's asleo product for so? And do you get really good feedback from people? Yeah, absolutely. Um, signing, it, it's not a new concept. It's its motor skill learning. So it's basically based on the concept of kinetic learning. Um, I'm a biokineticist, which means life through, through movement. So it made sense to me to use this concept. And um, I signed with three of my kids with phenomenal results. And the feedback, the testimonies that we got from parents was absolutely amazing. Sometimes I just burst into tears when I read the testimonies. Now, sign language can make our lives a lot easier. I'm thinking of some of my friends that are hard of hearing and some of my friends that are deaf. You know, it's always wonderful when they can teach you something or you're able to communicate. Recently, my little girl refuses to say thank you. So I taught her how to say thank you. And now she is signing thank you instead of wanting to say the words. (laughs) Who knows why? But that is what we're dealing with. So, I mean, give us some practical examples. If, If we had to teach our toddler or our baby how to sign? First of all, how old must they be? Can you teach a small baby how to ask for milk? Absolutely. Remember that babies are signers by nature. So the first way they communicate is they start pointing. Okay. So if you teach your baby, um, oh, this is my eyes and my nose and my mouth, you will never know if they grasping what you're saying until they start showing you, yes, oh, eyes, wow. nose, yes. So it just makes sense. So for them, it's a it's a first step to communication. So they use their hands to communicate. So as I speak to my baby, well, I signed from, from when they were four months old. Um, so I was very eager to sign. Um, so you basically, as you speak, you don't replace speech with signs. You basically support language with gesture. So you will say, oh, do you want your milk? And do you want more? And it's all done. And if you see a bird outside, you will show them, oh, there's a bird. So it's basically just to support language. You are, I'm actually getting emotional. I I'm, I can feel how my nose is starting to burn. Oh, you're going to make me tear up. This is wonderful. So you're able to already show and I love how you say support. So it's a, it supports your speech and baby will then mimic and do what you do. The signs. Absolutely. Um, if I can just use the example of my three kids. Um, my, my, my third baby, she started signing back at six months. Now, that's yeah. very, very early. Wow. So she started using her little hands like that. When she saw her milk, she would start playing with her hands um, because this is the sign for milk. 
like mimic milking a cow. Right. <laughs> okay, so she would start playing with her hands. Um, she used the sign for milk for quite for, for quite a long time before she so, showed her first or her next sign, which was just after eight months, and that was music. Um, my other two started signing back at about nine months. Um, that's very early. But remember, I was very eager. So I was <laughs> <laughs> signing for, for everything and all day long. Um, so between six and nine months is very early to sign back. Nine to 12 months is also early. Mm -hmm. But usually they sign back from, from about 12, 12 months up. And remember, most babies only start speaking at 18 months, two years old. Mm. Yeah. They're also, usually ready when they can clap. When they can clap and wave, they really, you know they're ready. When they can take they're off they're their hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw on, on your website as well that, that signing is not just for babies or for toddlers, but it's also for older children. So I want to know, I mean, is it the same as sign language for deaf or hard hearing people or is it a different technique? Exactly the same. Okay. So the signs that we use in Einstein Hands is the signs that the deaf community right. use. So it's right. South African sign language. Okay. So you're also learning. So as you teach your baby all these signs, you're also learning, learning a new language. And and we now talked about how long it takes to learn. Do you have to be quite consistent? What if the one day you forget to show the sign for milk and do, you, do they unlearn it or... No, 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 no. So you just keep signing. So if, if there's a day that you just, you know, you, we get those days when we have babies, you don't feel up to anything or ready for anything. So you just relax. You don't sign. Yeah. But um, they pick up. Um, so you you just keep signing. So the, the key is to be consistent. So people will ask me, does it work? Um, then I will ask you, do you do it? You know, mm. so you have to sign for them to see. And there are a few tricks. Um, so what I usually do is I say you have to help the child in the beginning. So they need to feel the sign. Mm. So, for instance, airplane. So if we show the sign for airplane, I take the baby's hand and right. they feel airplane. Okay. Yeah. So you basically just stimulate those pathways that's responsible for that movement. What about our lazy talkers? You know, they're two years old, they know how to speak, but they still say, mm, ah, or they only want to point. Will this be something that will be, uh, that will help them? Is it an aid? Does it assist? Absolutely. Okay. The research behind this is very strong. So you will see they, 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 they've done a 20 year research study in America. And one of the main benefits was it promotes speech, mm -hmm. like the ability to, to speak, not just right. communication, speaking, because the fine motor skills in our hand and the fine motor skills in our mouth. They connect it, you know, so that's why when we speak, even like if you're on the phone and you need to show or, or explain the direction to someone, you use your hands. So it's so much easier to, to speak when we use our hands. So, so signing promotes speaking. Okay. Before we go, I, I need to learn some. Okay. So milk, okay. you have to show me. So milk, oh, milk right? Yes. Like mimic, like mimic. Milking a cow. A cow. Okay. Milk. Yes. <laughs> so mo most babies just do that. Okay. And and yeah, after milk, milk uh, how do I say to my child, um, hello? Hello. Okay. Hello. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was the one that you just showed? There's a fire. Okay. There's no, because it takes too long to yeah. unlearn it. We don't want to, we don't want to know. <laughs> it, takes too, fire. it takes too long to get them off it. So. <laughs> yeah. So you um, say no pacifier. No pacifier. <laughs> food. What's food? Yes. If they want to eat. eat. So, same as eat. So pacifier and eat. Okay. And hungry? Do they yes. show when they're hungry? Yes. You just rub your tummy. Okay. So they'll show for yes. food. Yes. What if they and want to see? Yeah. Your, Ilona, is that you also need to teach the signs to, that, that's interesting to your baby. Not just that's helpful to you. <laughs> you know? So... <laughs> So it's great for you that the baby can show milk and dummy and 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 thank you and please and all mm. of that. But they are interested in in animals, you know, and um, the things outside and colors. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, so you can so, sign colors as well. Because you now showed me absolutely. airplane, okay, and I, the animals I'm aware of. So not just the signs that Omar will be proud of, like please and thank you and, and all of those. Be- before we wrap up, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful tool in order to look for me, the joy is in the results and being able to see the videos of how the children engage and how they're able to learn this new skill. As someone has started Einstein Hands, what has been the most rewarding part of all of it? Because most of the moms we speak to, they started something or a product or a project because they found the need in their own homes. What was most rewarding for you starting EinsteinHands.com? to see it in my own children. We had so many special moments and so many memories. Even if I watch the videos, I, I, I cannot imagine raising my kids without the sign language. It was just phenomenal. And then um, to add to that is the testimonies that we get from parents. Um, if I can just share this one testimony um, the mom sent us an email. She said that um, a child was a very light speaker and she couldn't understand it because the child was a phenomenal signer. And it was between the age of 18 months and two years, they figured that the, the speech is developing very slowly. Mm. And anyway, they took her to the pediatrician and they figured that this child was hard of hearing. Oh, wow. This and child then, could wow. not hear. Yes. But the the pediatrician said that he could not believe at what level that child was in terms of early childhood development, the communication skills, the understanding of concepts. So this child was better than the peers at that age in terms of communication and the understanding. And um, yeah, so that was just an amazing testimony to just show that it's not just about early communication that it's it's it, it's amazing for their whole development well you've encouraged us so much if you want to know more about einstein hands the testimonies the videos and even how you can uh, obtain the skill for yourself and for your children einsteinhands.com nadia it's been a pleasure chatting to you oh wonderful thank you for having us 